Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, chlorella with natokinase in tablet form. Well, I am the biggest proponent of chlorella and spirulina probably in the country. I've, I've been promoting it for 25 years. I found out about it about 25 years ago when I started taking it, and I've taken some every single day since. I never miss it. And forget your medicine. And then I put it together with all sorts of other herbal extracts, bacopa, ashwagandha, brown seaweed extract, which is kelp. That's the, You get the iodine because, you know, spirulina and chlorella have no iodine whatsoever. Um, so, uh, you know, I put together with uh, uh, turmeric. That's one of my more popular ones. Uh, as I said, bacopa, uh, macuna. So uh, another one's chlorella and spirulina with CGF or chlorella growth factor. So it's highly concentrated. Uh, chlorella with vitamin C. Chlorella, we're coming out with vitamin D. This is another one we did, chlorella with natokinase. Now, a few years ago, I, I heard about uh, natokinase about five years ago. It's an absolutely amazing nutrient. It's an enzyme. It's a systemic enzyme. And it comes from a food that's called natto. Yeah, this kind of sticky, disgusting stuff called natto. It's really ugly. So this is natokinase. Anytime you see an A's on the end, you know, that's an enzyme. So this is natokinase. Natokinase is a systemic enzyme, um, such as serapeptase. That's a systemic enzyme, so like a system enzyme, if you can think of it. We've got two different types of enzymes. Digestive enzymes that digest our food and systemic enzymes that do everything else throughout the body. So these are like little robots going out throughout the body. And what natokinase does better than any other enzyme in the world that we, we consume is remove fibrin from the body. Fibrin is a protein that is regulated in blood clotting. And if you get too much of this fibrin in throughout your body, you know, you have excessive blood clots, you have thick blood, and so your blood pressure goes up. So uh, natokinase is really great for lowering blood pressure naturally. High blood pressure or hypertension, you know, the most common disease out there. Uh, I always tell you you should take your arms and breathe in very uh, slowly and expand the lungs and get your blood out to the capillaries and that'll help relieve the, the blood pressure in your body. High blood pressure or hypertension, absolutely the most common disease you're going to find out there. And, um, it, you know, the, the, the most amount of medications, there's just so many blood thinners and, you know, high blood pressure medications out there. Um, and there's some breathing exercises I tell people to do. Breathe in very deeply into your lungs and then hold it there as long as you can. Don't hold your breath. But that'll help expand, uh, you know, your lungs and your body and get the blood into the capillaries. But natokinase is also excellent at reducing high blood pressure and naturally, of course, and uh, taking the, removing the fibrin in the body, and it's really the fibrin that's the big problem. So if you've got lung issues, for instance, you've got you know, you know, lung cancer or any kind of breathing issues or anything, you want natokinase. Natokinase is fibrolytic. That means it helps break down blood clots, and it helps reduce uh, bad cholesterol, raise the healthy cholesterol. Now, it helps with lung issues by m removing that fibrin and allowing the blood flow to go through there. Again, the fibrin is the huge issue that's causing so much, you know, congestion throughout the body, so, so much coagulation that shouldn't be there. It reduces the hyperviscosity of the blood and, you know, allows it to move more freely through the uh, blood veins and the arteries so you, you don't have clotting and clogging. This helps reduce, um, you know, polyps, hemorrhoids, nasal polyps, uh, you know, varicose veins, uh, thrombosis, all these hemorrhoids, um, you know, of any kind, all these are, again, due to this excessive amount of fiber in the body, and that's what natokinase does is it reduces that tremendously, making it really the best systemic enzyme that we have and one of the best nutrients that I've ever seen. So combined with the chlorella, uh, the natokinase, you take around three to four grams a day. That's going to give you 2,000, uh, the NUs, natokinase units. Some people call them FUs. Uh, so that's fibrin units. And so that's reduce, constantly reducing the fiber and therefore the, the pressure within the body. 
Uh, I really think you're going to hear a lot more about natokinase once people really figure out the value of natokinase and uh, what it can do for our health by removing, you know, fiber and doing all sorts. Of, and the results of that, the resulting benefits is going to be really uh, something that's going to be around for a long time. You're going to hear a lot, a lot about it. I'd say it's one of the most incredible uh, nutrients I've ever heard about in my life. It definitely ranks up there with, believe it or not, CBD. Uh, totally different uh, for the body, but uh, a really, really great uh, systemic enzyme, serapeptase, uh, does a very good job at removing fiber, but nothing like natokinase. Chlorella kinase for reducing high blood pressure, uh, removing fiber from uh, throughout the body, in particular the lungs, and lowering uh, bad, bad cholesterol, R really an incredible product. Dr. Bob, and I'll see you guys next time.